What's up guys and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and we need to get moving because time is short but sweet right now. No, we will reject the peace offer until we take four or five of their castles. The reason they want peace now, they wouldn't accept peace when we sent it, so why should we accept peace now when they send it, you know what I mean? It's a funny, funny thing, getting revenge. But anyways, as I meant, when time is short, in the last episode we had softened up Radagir, we're gonna hit it again today. I think I had misjudged how many Huskarls they had inside the building, which is how we got ourselves wiped out. We're coming back with another 117 men, hopefully we can wipe this place out. Between now and the next two days without anybody coming to cause problems for us, let's build a siege tower. It is crazy that we can get a siege tower built in two days. I was gonna say, Sungechi Castle? What? Hold on, what? They've never done that before. I think the game is in collusion right now. Yeah, you all better ride off. You better get the hell out of here before something terrible happens to you. You know better. I'm talking to them like they're a dog that like peed on the carpet or something. They thought they could take my stuff with 160 men. What? No, we're not even remotely allowing this to happen. Hold on. I'm gonna wipe out all these armies, and then once I've wiped them out, we're gonna sit back and wait, because frankly, this is just ridiculous. Collusion! Absolute collusion! I didn't know that the Kyrgyz had faced sublimation into the realms of the Nords, but apparently they're fighting on the Nord side now. Cavalry, go ahead and have Adam, although I don't think I have any cavalry right now. You missed. I get them eyes checked, my Mameluki friend. He said as he struck his own troop with a sword. Like Mr. Ow! Look, I got him checked. You see? I got him checked. Hooray for me! I got my eyes checked. You know what? Let's just get this thing underway. I want to get over to Raya Blit or whatever it was. Radagir. There we go. I want to get over to Radagir as quickly as I can. And this is like a minor hazard that we need to jump through. Or a minor hoop that we must perform our way through. Ow, bitch! How dare you? How dare you, sir? How dare you strike me with the haft of your spear? This one's throwing spears at me all the while. Sigh. This is why nobody likes you, Serenids. You're all so pokey. Like, everything you have to offer the world is at the end of a spear. Like, wrong. We also have hookah. It's up in our taverns. I'm like, yeah, that is true. I do like hookah. Hookah is pretty awesome. And is that just a... What is that, a sergeant? He took a lot of damage. He's got to be something. God. Some of these elite armies that are just running around with other sides that are the wrong faction. I like it better when my factions are uniform so I can tell who I'm fighting against. Let's go ahead and pull cavalry back. Pull back infantry as well, and then we'll let the archers handle this next round. The nice thing is we've got 48 hours to siege the castle, so just about everybody we lose will be healed up by the time we get anything built, including the siege tower. I am really... How are you going to take a spear to the head? Did you see that guy right there? He took a spear to the head and just stood there. Didn't even try and block it. He was just standing there with his shield, and then just like, alright, you got me. I give up. I don't want to live in Calradia anymore. It kind of sucks here. Hey, how about you back up off my man-at-arms? I'd be more interested in a man-at-legs. It's just this guy who's really good at kicking people. He just runs around the battlefield kicking people in the shins. It's like, ow, damn it, my shin! That's gonna leave a marginally sized bruise. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a man of legs. Or a man-at-legs. His only equipment, he's just nude, except for boxers and boots with giant steel toes. <laughs> awesome. I like their flower jackets. Like, I wish I could wear a flower jacket with as much aplomb and as much courage as they do. But for me, I just feel like it wouldn't work. Mad Dog McGriddle is a female in a world that doesn't respect her, and I don't think a flower shirt is going to help anyone else come to respect her any further. I mean, getting murdered in a flower shirt is one thing. Seems like something that might happen in Miami, but... Let's see... Where's this last guy? Is he, like, stuck behind this rock? This boulder right here? 
This boulder model, people are always getting stuck behind it. I don't know what it is about this boulder, but they can... Uh, yeah, they just can't figure out how to get out from behind it. There we go. And I'm going to wipe out both these armies. If I can catch the other little group of twosies and we can take them out too. Unfortunately, this is unforeseen expenditure of human lives that I wasn't really planning on. So we are going through men a little bit too rapidly right now. I don't want to miss our chance at Radagir, and I don't want to miss our chance at any of the other castles that might be undefended either. Oh, good. We get to recruit. Well, that's fine. I'll take the recruits then. That'll fill out the remainder of my troops. That'll work out fine, just fine. And then we've got Swadian Knights ready to go. We will take some of the spoils, because I like to spoil myself. It is true. I do like to spoil myself every now and again. And are they back in here fighting? God. All right, well. Let's go ahead and charge the enemy here. Am I outside my own castle? Why are we fighting in this weird basin thing? Seems like a great spot for a campsite, but beyond that, that are an amazing spot for the hills to have eyes. One or the other. There was this one place I camped one time. I forget where it was, but there are a bunch of old caverns, like thousands of them out in the hills that were done by the Native Americans. And so at night when you're camping down there, all you can see, it's creepy as hell. I'm not an easily spooked person, but I'll, even I'll admit it was kind of creepy. You're in your campsite, and it's in a basin just like that right there. In fact, there's like a big mountain. There's a road that runs alongside the mountain. Then on the other side, there's even more mountains. So you're kind of in this big bowl almost. And thank you for taking the time to shoot my horse. I'm sure he appreciates it. Jerks. Can't trust some people to ever use any support kind of tact. But anyways, there's a bunch of these caves that are all carved out and smoothed in the mountain. Just dozens upon dozens of them. And it looks like the perfect place for scary people to just sit and stare at you all night. It's weird. I can't get rid of his horse. I got people riding around causing all kinds of a ruckus and a problem. Oh, those are his. There's so many horsemen around. I thought they were mine. Because I have like a half a million men at arms right now. Hey, did you just murder one of my guys? That's not cool. You can't just do that in front of me. I don't allow that. That's not an okay thing. He, that guy wasn't greenlit. I am known for greenlighting people, but... Let's keep it on the low down here. Yeah, infantry, you're up. We've already busted up their cavalry, so let's go ahead and send in infantry. I knew I saw a guy in there. I absolutely knew that wasn't my guy. I couldn't see his little emblem, but I had a feeling. I had a sneaking suspicion. It was a sneaking suspicion. It was a suspicion that preferred to play rogue. Got camp followers. We got a lot of crossbowmen and stuff, too. That also explains the losses we're taking. Luckily, my horse is impervious to most bolts and bullets. I'm not, but he is. I'm going to have the infantry fall back one more time. Yeah, we may not have enough left to actually take anything after this gets done. I mean, I was hoping we would, but unfortunately... All of these battles are beginning to just be... It's a war of attrition. I mean, I'm winning every battle pretty much stupendously. But we're losing so many troops each time that it's just, we lose 10 here, lose 10 there. We fought four battles now. 10 here, 10 there. Pretty soon you're 40 troops down. With nowhere to go. 40 troops down, half nude, and nowhere to go. Finally, that guy had a chin on him. He just wouldn't go. That was kind of a weird growl. That was a really, really low one. I think it played the same sound effect like 12 times in a row. I don't know what he did. He was like, I'm going to turn around and stab you backwards. Inverse stabbing. It's the TI-83 stabbing. I think I got hamstringed. Like in that movie, House of Wax, where the thing sneaks out of the floor and snips the guy's hamster. I know, it snips his ankle. That's what it is with scissors. Ugh, that was grisly. That was bad. That was one of those things. It's rare that something makes me be like, ooh, in a movie, but that was one. That was a definite one. 
What the hell are we missing here? Oh, he's retreating. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Nah, too much armor. Couldn't get him. It was square in the center of his back, but it just wasn't enough. Well, it goes to show that the second I started wondering what I was going to do to make this interesting anymore, a bunch of interesting stuff happened, so the AI definitely gambled right there and attacked us. We want to capture everybody that we can capture while we're here. Nope, you're my prisoner now. You go to hell. And then he's got a bunch of prisoners here as well. I'm going to take the Huskarl for sure. Footman definitely. God, I wish I could give some of these to Mathel. Like, you could give the rest of these to Mathel and be like, here, enjoy. Have funsies. Oh, good, address. Just what I always wanted. Now I can ride into the battlefield hemming in style. Or being hemmed in style. Okay, we're still maxed out. I guess I didn't lose as many troops as I thought I did. People are wounded, though, so... Let's head back out to Radagir. I don't know if they're still gonna have, like, 30 men there. I hope they still have 30 men. It'll be really disappointing if we wasted all those men throwing ourselves against the walls. And then we find ourselves... There, and they're back up to 48. I mean... About the best we could do. So let's build a siege tower. And let's hope that the enemy is not out on campaign and doesn't redivert from wherever else they're going to come beat us up here. I'm hoping that they didn't peter out, like they didn't totter out a little bit. If Rodox teetered out on me and decided to just be like, put, 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 and then stop fighting, it's going to be disappointing. And I'm looking at you too, Vagirs. Don't think that I forgot you. I know that you're at war with Nords too, so get her done. Come on now. By the end of two days, we should for sure be healed up enough to take this place, I think. Yeah, a big army coming through. Get out the way. I actually don't care if Bulaban gets destroyed. I'm still okay with that. That's fine. Go ahead. Wait 21 hours and we'll go ahead. Don't wipe out the village that I'm trying to capture, you idiot. Great. My own troops are helping raise something that I want. I'm going to reject the peace agreement. At least until we take just Radagir. If we could take Radagir and if we could take Ismerala, we would have a nice little belt right here that everybody would have to like pay us tolls and stuff if they wanted to cross it, which would be badass. Let's lead our troops in an assault, and let's take this thing. We don't have much time left in front of us, so let's get it done. I'm just going to let everybody do their own thing, because I felt like I kind of screwed things up by not properly arranging myself last time. So whatever, you guys just like shoot at stuff. I will push this wagon along, and hopefully good things will happen at the end of the day. Did I get that guy? Hell yeah, I'm the best. Mm. Ow, damn it. Stop that. I'm trying to shoot your friends. Stop that right now. My only goal at the moment is to kill all of your friends before we attack your walls. It's kind of funny how much better I've gotten at shooting since the first episode. It's weird how it grows back on you like your muscle memory comes back. And as I say that, I'll probably miss like my next five shots. Those axes are getting a little close, but I'm not that worried about them. I do still think we're going to have a problem taking the walls from all these Huskarls. That one flew off to the side. I think I got RNG'd right there. Unfortunately, normal arrows don't do the greatest job at breaking Huskarl shields. This is one of those cases where if you're fighting Nords, I would definitely recommend possibly going with Rodok Sharpshooters instead because they're really good at destroying shields. And then once you get to the top of the wall, it's not so terrible. However, normal arrows do very, very little damage to shields. In fact, it would be next to nothing almost in many cases. I don't see 19 Huskarls holding off 150 men. If it happens, I will be... I will be vexed. I will be incredibly, incredibly vexed. How is that still inside his coverage? He's getting shot. Ridiculous. Absolute what? 
<laughs> oh my god. Ultimate shield skills go! Ooh. And so now all we can do is the hope that we kill 40 men before everyone we know dies horribly and horrifically violently. I'm gonna fire into this little group over here because that looks like the weak flank. There's no arrows left. Anybody else got some arrows? Arrows, anybody? Arrows? God, we are getting chopped down like punks. Oh man. Now I fell off the siege ladder. Day just keeps getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. Of course, I can't find any arrows like an Easter egg hunt out here. What about you? You're clearly an archer or something. Give me some arrows. Oh, you're not an archer. Although you are quite the receptacle for arrows. You got one in the forehead. You got one in the chest. Man, he had a rough week. This was not his day to be a soldier. We have to have almost killed 30 of them by now. I mean, there's not that many in here. It does look like we're finally making a dent. But it can be difficult to tell sometimes when Huskarls are involved. Alright, well we're expanding slowly. I mean, I'm not super pleased with our progress as a faction. I thought things were going to go a little bit quicker, but this will afford us a little bit of extra land that we could conceivably give to maybe Lazalit. And then after we give a bit of- oh man. I always fall off the siege tower. I don't know what it is. It's like they wax this thing with sex wax or something, and then I'm just like, whoop, and just like fall straight off. I don't know if people still use sex wax. Do people still use sex wax to make things like slippery, like surfboards and stuff? When I was growing up, God, that is. <sighs> he suffered accidental death. But dopes. <laughs> Yay, we win! Kind of. I don't know if I would call this winning. We lost a lot of men. And so now we have ourselves a new shiny castle. The downside? Not a whole lot of things to capture in said castle. I was hoping we'd get some new troops. Anything trainable, really, though, so we can take the peasant women and whatnot. Capture up the remainder of these guys. My lady, we have taken Radagir Castle. Do you wish to award it to one of your vassals? Let's give it to, we'll go with Gurlad. And so Gurlad's happy now. I think Boba's going to defect anyways. You guys hadn't noticed this little subplot, but Boba's kind of a dick. I haven't been really pleased with him, so just so you know, Boba is one of those people that I think he was going to leave anyways, so I'm not really concerned with making sure that he has enough of anything, really. Now that I've given the castle to him, the garrison should be his problem, right? I mean, I do think it's probably wise that we hang out for a couple days just to make sure this doesn't get hit back with any strong capacity. But I think we've got enough to hold it, barring they come at us with their entire faction or anything. Hopefully they'll sue for peace soon and we can kind of walk away with what we have for a moment and think about where we want to go with our other endeavors. Yeah, let's just wait around for a bit and see if we can't heal up a tiny tad. We got some Buha. How do I give some Buha to somebody? I think I should probably give some Buha to just about, well, what I could do is I could give it to myself. I mean, we could definitely use the money, that's for sure. How are our wounds looking right now? Everybody looking good? Awesome. So we're almost completely and totally healed up. Let's make sure that everything that... Oh, good. She's reinforcing that quick, too. Awesome. Well then, I'm really, I think delegation of castles is probably going to be the best way to go in giving myself the fifes so that the castles are all taken care of by the AI so that I personally don't have to run around recruiting tons and tons of troops to make things happen. In fact, I may give some Geche to somebody and I'll just take some Buha and Bula Bon maybe. Next target's going to be Ismarala. They offered me a peace agreement. We are going to reject it for now. We may take it pretty shortly. 
but right this second, I don't think it's in our best interest. So Vigir, Knights 13, Huskarls. They do have a lot of veteran archers in there, but I do think that one's going to be... We could probably take Ismarala. Let's go check on Nudar. We're going to do a little bit of scouting with the last half of this episode. We'll also kind of keep our ear to the ground and make sure that Radagir doesn't get hit. Now, we are, by taking so much of their land, I did want to point out we are ensuring that they will declare on us all the time from now on. Technically, Radagir isn't theirs, I don't think. I think Radagir belongs to Vagirs, and so... Territory-wise, I don't think they'll get any extra aggro from that. But, it could happen. I really, really, really want Qdan, by the way. If we could take Qdan, I would be excessively happy. Like, this little belt right here, if we could take that, I mean, I would probably just train up a bunch of Vagir guards and a bunch of Vagir marksmen, and that would be that. Let's check on Nudar. What's going on over here? Okay, so it's pretty reinforced. It's looking like Ismarala is the one that we want to go for. I'm going to deny them again because they're not going to do anything. However, if we see them make peace with any of the other factions, then will be the time that we'll have to decide whether or not we want to contact them one more time to be like, hey, make peace with us, please. We love you guys. Oh, you guys are so great. You're the best. Bye. Let me go and recruit a little bit further, I think. So we'll go down to Tazdar. Let me grab some knights. I'm going to continue rejecting that. There are a lot of soldiers around, and I am slightly concerned about an invasion, but... Who knows? I mean, it's a little bit easier to have the AI just kind of take over your city than anything else because then it just gets stocked with troops for free. It just means I don't have to do it, which is really, really badass, by the way. This place has been taken over by bandits, and I'll probably fight them off camera. And what we'll do now is I'll break off this episode. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Mountain Blade Warband. I'm glad that this one went according to spec. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.